Hi there, this is uh, Shrikanth Asari. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about uh, the HTML uh, table tag, so which is used to display uh, the content in the form of a table in our HTML pages. Okay. So let me launch the IDE, so which is NetBeans, as we are using uh, previously. So already I have created a project under the name uh, HTML5 tables, which has nothing but a simple HTML5 uh, index.html and contains a HTML5 template, a blank template, okay. So in order to build a table, uh, we need to have a, a table tag, okay. It's a very uh, basic uh, tag to build a table, is a table tag, okay. The table tag is nothing but just opening table and closing table, okay. So there are uh, two important uh, uh, tags uh, within the table tag. Uh, the one is table row, which is uh, TR, okay. So other one is uh, T, which is uh, table data, okay. So why, uh, so you might wonder why why would we need uh, these two tags inside a table tag, okay. So uh, imagine uh, of a table as an inter intersection of uh, rows and columns, okay. So here the rows are represented by the uh, table row, uh, tr tag and the columns, uh, instead of having a column, a tag per column, the designers of HTML uh, uh, insisted to have a, a tag uh, named a td okay which which simply uh, represents table data okay so after all uh, a column or, or a cell okay you can take something like this the cell is nothing but an intersection of a column and a row okay so uh, the table data is going to be uh, a cell okay the cell consists nothing but uh, data okay so in turn uh, they have intended to take uh, the table uh, the name of the tag as table data okay so now uh, we need to fill some uh, data into our table okay so for the first instance uh, imagine that we are building a table uh, for a list of employees in a college okay so the first and foremost would be uh, name of the employee uh, or else something like this name of the employee or else you can say something like this employee name let's make it in caps okay so employee name and second uh, data would be Okay, let's copy uh, or else you can keep on building uh, TV. Okay. So another uh, table data would be, uh, you can say employee number. Okay, let's paste it like this. Another table data would be something like this. Uh, salary. So you can consider uh, uh, these as uh, the initial row as headings, okay, so initial uh, contents of a uh, uh, row as headings and the first, last and, and the last one would be telephone. So first we need to have a TD tag, okay, and we can say telephone, okay. So now we have uh, just a simple uh, row and uh, four columns or I can, I can take like this four columns or four uh, data or four cells uh, in your uh, simple table tag here, okay. So now let us just uh, save and run or view it in our uh, web page. So how it looks in our uh, web page. So I'm just running the page, uh, HTML document inside a web page here. So now you might uh, wonder, uh, so, uh, so here it looks uh, simple, uh, like just like a plain text here, okay. So if you view source, so whatever you have, uh, uh, taken as a, a source in the NetBeans, NetBeans ID, so whatever that's got displayed here. But uh, this is not what you expected, okay. So to make it, uh, so to, to, to make it uh, how a typical table looks like, uh, you need to add an attribute, okay. So let's come back to our uh, NetBeans here. So the, that attribute is uh, the border attribute, okay. So the border is the most basic attribute and, that, and starting from HTML5, you need to have only one as uh, the border, okay. So higher values for border were not uh, suggested in our HTML5 uh, specification. So if you add a border to your uh, a table, border attribute to your uh, table tag, and if you just go to your uh, web browser and just re reload the page, now you have uh, uh, exactly uh, the same uh, look and feel how a typical table looks, okay. So in the same way, uh, you can uh, add some data or uh, some more data into your table so to make uh, to make it some more uh, meaningful okay so let's uh, let me just copy and uh, paste the entire thing so after all uh, uh, the same things repeat okay so again the same if you need to have one more row uh, with some uh, data in that row 
so again you need you need not type okay so one uh, typically uh, you can just copy and paste the whole thing and just you can add some data here okay stick on the sorry my name so employee number something you can have a, a meaningful employee number in that uh, data a so 612 something like this then salary let's make it uh, one lakh and telephone number okay some zero eight nine one two five four three four nine eight okay so this is the typical data we have which we have entered uh, in the second row okay so now uh, if you go to your chrome and just reload your page you get uh, the whatever the data you wanted you have entered in your uh, table uh, row okay so i am lazy enough uh, to just copy and paste it a few more times to have uh, some uh, some data filled entirely in our table okay so i have just instead of typing uh, keep on typing the different different uh, names for employees i have just copied and pasted uh, several times so uh, such that we can have a complete look of a table here okay so which consists of 1 2 3 4 and 5 rows okay of data field okay so this is the typical uh, uh, table uh, which we which you can uh, so we're using the all the basic things okay so there are uh, uh, the few more things uh, uh, which might uh, which were needed to apply uh, to this uh, table particularly okay so if you observe in your uh, uh, table so the the initial most the most uh, the starting row which is uh, meant uh, not a typical data okay so these are supposed to be headings okay so there is a special uh, tag in our uh, uh, html uh, Uh, table uh, table tag uh, inside a table tag which is known as a table heading okay so all these uh, things were intended to be uh, table headings so i am just here so the, for the first uh, for the first row in the table i am just uh, changing the entire thing to th okay so this is a special tag in our uh, html uh, table tag so which, which is intended to have uh, so first uh, the first one would almost be Will always be a, a heading. Okay, so first row uh, in a table will almost will always be a heading tag. So that's the reason we have changed uh, the table uh, data to a table heading. So now, if you refresh your uh, reload your page here, so if you observe, so here if you observe here, uh, the all the all of them were uh, in bold. Okay, so all of them were bold and uh, uh, makes it somewhat distinct from uh, distinct from the remaining uh, table data. Okay. So in the same way, we have uh, a few more important attributes, uh, which were uh, cell, cell padding and cell spacing. Okay, so in order to, so make it more viable, so I am just copying the entire uh, table structure and uh, creating another table here. So okay, so creating another table uh, in order to uh, view, uh, show some distinct uh, nature. Okay. So apart from that, I am also adding a couple of uh, br tags here. Okay. so just a couple of br uh, tags so now if you go to your web browser and if you reload your page so we have uh, two different tables here the reason i have uh, did this in order to demonstrate the use of uh, uh, two most important attributes in our uh, table tag okay so which are uh, self padding and self spacing okay so you might understand better uh, after when i add them self padding Okay, let's make it cell padding to so initially by zero and also a cell spacing, cell spacing also to uh, zero. Okay, so now uh, any uh, so since we have a zero for both the values, uh, you you might not uh, experience any change uh, in our uh, uh, HTML uh, table here. So if you reload, uh, if you reload uh, there is almost typical change. Okay, the padding is almost. Uh, Taken to zero here. Okay, so if you increase that value of uh, cell um, cell padding here to ten, okay. So if you increase that value to ten, and if you go to your uh, web page and reload, the padding uh, is applied to all the cells in the uh, table. Okay, so padding is nothing but uh, the default. Uh, it adds some spacing into the cell content. Okay, so if you observe the previous table, which does not have any. Uh, cell padding or cell spacing so if you go to your netbeans and if you observe the, for this table uh, you don't have any cell uh, padding so this this represents this one okay so the first one represents the 
the first table represents the first uh, table and the second uh, so for that reason we have taken a, an entirely uh, new table for uh, to demonstrate the cell padding and cell spacing here so here we have made the change uh, like to 10 so so or else you can increase uh, cell spacing to some 20 also so which uh, cell padding sorry cell padding to 20 and if you just reload the page so it just widens your uh, or else uh, padding between the the spacing between the inner content of the cell is increased okay so in the same way you have uh, uh, cell spacing also so if you uh, give some spacing uh, to your cells and come back to your browser and reload the page so if you observe uh, cell padding is the one uh, which gives the space uh, between the inner content of the cell the cell spacing is the one which gives uh, the spacing between the individual cells okay so the cell spacing is the not uh, is not the one which is being used in all our uh, in all the HTML pages, uh, basically, okay. So it's always advisable to keep it uh, zero, okay. So to keep it zero, okay. Again, if you load the page, you have uh, uh, the the typical HTML table with only the with only the cell uh, padding uh, content, okay. Or else we can make it to ten here, okay. Go back and reload your page. You have a good uh, uh, table with uh, cell padding, okay. So now. <laughs> Uh, okay, so now if you understood, uh, let's get rid of this uh, the previous one. Let's make it only one table here. Okay, yeah, so get rid of our uh, br tags. So if we just save and reload our content, we have only one page. Okay, so apart from this, we have uh, so one more uh, important, uh, uh, not that important. Okay. So, which is a width, okay. So, width attribute which is being applied on this uh, tag here. So, width can be something like, like you can say 650 uh, or in 650 pixels, something like this, okay. So, if you just save and reload the page, so your table expands according to that width, okay. So, the width uh, or else the width can also be something like this, okay. So, if you go to your, uh, oops, if you go to your net veins. <coughs> The width can also be uh, in the form of percentage, so 80 percent, so whatever you wanted, uh, you can make it in the form of pixels or percentage, so whatever you wanted, if you just save and reload your page, the table expands 80 percent of your page, entire page, 80 percent of your entire page, okay, so table occupies or expands, okay, so in the same way, uh, the one more uh, uh, important, ad uh, one more important, uh, not attribute, uh, the tag, uh, is uh, the caption tag okay the caption tag is the one uh, which is which is intended okay the, the caption tag is the one uh, which is intended to have some caption to your table okay so caption okay so caption tag you can have some caption to your table uh, the the important thing to remember here is the caption tag should always be uh, which always sit right below the table tag okay the opening table tag here okay so no other place for caption tag uh, except uh, just beneath the uh, table tag here, okay so you can have uh, some caption so some caption to your uh, table here okay so like uh, so list of employees in our college something like this okay so just save and uh, reload your page you have a nice little uh, caption uh, coming here at the end of uh, at the beginning of the table okay so you can have you're always welcome to have uh, a good h1 tag uh, inside a caption so if it if it's needed okay so you're always not always welcome uh, according to your requirement uh, you can have you can make it uh, a simple h1 tag inside a caption tag okay so now if you just uh, save and reload your page so you have a good uh, so good uh, h1 tag uh, as a caption okay so this is not uh, always advisable you can make it uh, h3 also okay so why do you have a big huge uh, h1 when it is not an important when it is not that important uh, tag it's just a caption to your uh, uh, table in our html okay 
So now if you save and reload, you can have a small caption at the beginning of your HTML page. Okay. So apart from these uh, options, so the, there is one last thing. So what uh, so what happens if you have uh, one more row? Okay. So at the end, and it contains a single uh, data, a single row data. Okay. Uh, the remaining are not. Uh, acceptable and that uh, row, uh, row data is used to have uh, some small a huge message something like this thank you for viewing our uh, some uh, some message whatever you wanted okay so imagine that there is a situation like this thank you for viewing our data what else you can say employee data here okay so now if you just save and reload your page in your uh, browser so if you observe here, uh, we have uh, created another row and we have added a tag, a table uh, TD uh, or a table data. So uh, remaining were all left empty uh, intentionally or whatever, uh, you might not get any content to fill, okay. So now, uh, but uh, if you go to your browser, so all the spaces are getting uh, wasted, okay. And this is gets expanded, uh, uh, expanding the uh, employee column okay so now uh, in order to get rid uh, of this uh, in order to get rid of this uh, empty blank spaces empty rows here so we can do one thing here uh, we can use make use of this uh, calls spam okay so this is a attribute which is applied to an individual uh, table data or, or else individual tag or here uh, table data level okay so we can say uh, call span as uh, something like this so since we have four columns you can say something like this four and if you just save and reload your uh, web page here so okay so if you see here so the entire uh, the column uh, the columns were merged and okay so ent the entire columns were merged and uh, so you can get rid of this uh, unwanted uh, table uh, tags here okay if you just save and again if you just reload your page here so it's look it looks better then okay so at the end of uh, at the ending tag uh, just if you are wanted to display some message or else a link or else some copyright information uh, of your page you can use make use of this uh, call span attribute at the table data level and you can merge all the uh, remaining uh, content of your uh, remaining contents of your uh, table and make it make it one line okay so that's the use of this uh, uh, call span okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, the tables in our html okay so since we have uh, uh, taken a table tag and the table consists of typically to uh, two tags which is a table row and table uh, data okay so the beginning uh, you can make it uh, the beginning table which is always the beginning row of the table uh, which is uh, almost universally will be a heading so you can make use of the uh, heading tag in the HTML and you can make uh, the beginning row all the data of that table as using making use of this heading tag here, okay. So in the same way you can fill your data using the TD or table data and you can have as many as rows in your table uh, as you want it using the table row tag, okay. So this is the basic stuff about uh, the tables in HTML, okay. So see you in the next lesson, goodbye.